Hello brothers, sisters in Christ. You know guys, it's been a while since I've been, um, since I've made a video. You know guys, I was just, you know, talking to the Lord just now and I feel like He placed it on my heart to share a testimony, a, to testify of God's goodness, to testify of God's long suffering, to testify, you know guys, that the parable of the prodigal son is not really about the son. It's really about the father. It's really about how the father is good and that he will never leave nor forsake you as long as you turn to him. You know, guys, um, I just want to share, you know, guys, this message for, for some of you who may have backslidden, who may have gotten involved in something that you know that is wrong and that you shouldn't be doing as a child of God. You know, guys, recently the storms of life came. You know, guys, um, you know, things were, things were pretty intense in my life about a month ago or the last couple of months, three months. And, you know, guys, instead of submitting to God, resisting the devil and the devil fleeing, instead of going to the Prince of Peace to get my peace, instead of going to the one who would strengthen me and refresh me and get me through what it was, the storm, to get through that storm, you know, guys, I turned to smoking cigarettes and drinking whiskey and Coke, you know, guys, and I started drinking and smoking to deal with, you know, the, the stress or the, the storms of life that I was going through, you know, guys, and, you know, guys, you know, smoking tobacco or doing drugs or getting drunk is a temporary fix. But I just want to share that it's only God's presence, God's presence. It's only the Lord who can sustain you and truly help you. You know, guys, I, I quit smoking again and I quit drinking, you know, guys. Hallelujah. You know, I might have a, you know, whatever, have a glass of wine with a family or whatever. But I'm not drinking, you know, guys, to get drunk. You know, guys, I'm not smoking cigarettes anymore to deal with stress and, and, and anxiety and, and problems that I'm facing in my life. You know, guys, and I just want to share, while I did go into smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol, you know, guys, although it's not, you know, I'm not getting into drugs or anything, but, you know, let's face it, alcohol and nicotine is a drug and people do rely on it. You know, we all know someone who's an alcoholic or who, who smokes cigarettes, like, a, you know, one or two packs a day to deal with their problems. You know, guys, and in a way, it's like idolatry because instead of going to God for help, we're turning to some material substance to help us. You know, guys, and the Lord, through that period of, you know, doing these things, the Lord just showed me so much grace. The Lord's presence was with me. God was just continually helping me. You know, guys, hallelujah, because he knew that I was struggling big time. You know, guys, and I just want to share today that to my brother or to my sister in Christ who is struggling, who is going through a storm of life, and, you know, instead of, um, you know, turning to the Lord, you know, you, you, you may be turning to a substance or you may be turning to, you know, some material thing, you know, guys, you know, guys, it could be anything that you're, that you're using to deal with your situation instead of going to the Lord. There are so many things in this life, in this world that are like smoking, that are like drinking, you know, guys, and, and the whole time God has his arms open saying, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you rest for your soul. So, you know, guys, today, you know, the Lord put it on my heart to make this message for a brother, a sister in Christ. You know, have you, are you backslidden? You know, are you relying on things of this world or are you relying on yourself in order to move forward? You know, guys, this is what this message is about this afternoon, you know, guys, hallelujah, you know, guys, the Lord has his arms stretched out to you. All you have to do 
is turn back to Him, repent, say, God, I'm not going to do this wrong thing anymore. Say, God, give me strength not to do this wrong thing anymore. Say, God, I'm, I'm tired. You know, I can't do this by myself. You know, say, God, help me. You know, call out to God. You know, guys, however you do that, you know, guys, everybody repents, everybody turns to God in their own way. It's not like a system because God looks at the heart why man looks at the outward appearance. So, you know, guys, I make this message for you, my brother, my sister in Christ. God loves you. Jesus loves you. He sees the pain. He sees the situation. And he's saying what he has been saying from the very beginning. Come to me and I will give you rest for your soul. All of you who are weary and heavy burdened, go to Jesus. Don't go to the material things of this life to get your rest. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. And Jesus will never turn you away when you come to him and ask him for help or where you backslide. You know, guys, hallelujah. John the Baptist said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus paid for all sin. You know, you know, um, past, present and future. You just have to turn to him, you know, guys. And, you know, guys, we are saved by grace through faith, least any man should boast. So turn to the Lord, you know, guys, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus will never leave nor forsake you. And if you have backslidden, God is reaching out to you and saying, it's okay, my, my son, my daughter, come to me and I'll cleanse you. I'll strengthen you. I'll, I'll uphold you with my righteous right hand. You know, I have plans to prosper you, to give you hope in a future. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys and thanks for watching.